It is the weekend of the Queen's Jubilee. And in the UK, we have a four day weekend. How has both of your weekends been so far? Um, I'm, I'm on it. It feels kind of like most days so far. So um, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, I've booked lots of shifts. So yeah, so so busy <laughs> having, having a having a fun day of celebrating the Queen. Then I hear. Yeah. Well, today's episode is about the guillotine. <laughs> <laughs> The favoured execution device of the French Revolution. Yeah. Today, I'm going to talk about its invention, its usage, and its surprising longevity. (laughs) I'm excited. But first, what did we do before the guillotine? Mm. Swords, isn't it? Feudalism. (laughs) Well, whatever your opinions on execution, humans have been doing it since before humans existed. Mm. Executions in the past were frequently meant to be violent and as painful as possible. Uh, Hang drawn and quartered, burnt at the stake, keel hauling, where, say, there was force under the call of a ship. Uh, Stoning, impalement, hanging, beheading, firing squad with bows and with guns. Trial by combat, ling chi, or death by a thousand cuts. Many different types of animal-based executions. Boiling, the Catherine wheel, being thrown off a cliff, crucifixion, strangling, even poisoning, to name a few. And the reasons for execution were also varied as well, from the more obvious things like murder to things like witchcraft or blasphemy. Basically, for as long as there have been executions, there have been people calling for the abolition of executions. Like I imagine yourselves, unless yeah. both of you are willing to admit that you're <laughs> massively <people>. into executions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, executions are typically quite bad, yeah, yeah, I Yeah, yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Um, But people have been calling for the abolition for quite a long time as well. For example, the 12th century Jewish legal scholar Moses uh, Maimonides, Moses Maimonides, uh, wrote, It is better and more satisfactory to acquit a thousand guilty persons than to put a single innocent man to death. Great. (laughs) Which is actually probably why I would agree. That's probably where, where I sit as well. Um, it is far better to let, you know, the worst person in the world go alive than to murder someone who was completely innocent. And even for those who uh, did not advocate for the removal completely of capital punishment, uh, they often called for a more humane way of executing. Nice deaths. Yes. Q. <laughs> Joseph Ignace or Ignac Ignake, who knows? I should. I, I was researching this. I probably should have googled how to pronounce his name. Is it C E at the end? Yeah. I, I think Ignace is probably sounds sounds the best. Mister Gil- Mister Guillotine. Q Mister Guillotine. Who you will be surprised to find out did not actually invent the guillotine. No way. He just branded it after him. He just had a brand. <laughs> Like a hoover. <laughs> yeah. The actual inventors of the guillotine were Antoine Louis and Tobias Schmidt. Uh, and, uh, for many, many years, the guillotine was actually called the Louisette after Antoine uh... Louis. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, Josef Guillotine was a politician and a doctor. And as a doctor, he was morally opposed to capital punishment. <laughs> Ironic. <laughs> It being the 18th century, Guillotine did not have the support to be able to completely remove the death penalty. However, he was able to successfully advocate for a more humane execution method. Uh, okay. And this was the guillotine? Yeah. <laughs> Quick, one go, done. <laughs> well, well, you joke, you joke, but at the time, executions of nobles uh, in France was yeah. done by a sword or yeah. axe, and it would frequently require like more than one mm. chop to get the neck completely uh, broken. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I can see his reasoning. Nast. Honestly, yes. I mean, it it was it was common actually for the families of uh, the condemned to uh, pay the executioner to make sure that the uh, the axe or the sword was sharp so that the death would be as quick and painless as possible yeah mm. yeah it's kind of fucked up meaning that otherwise so is it one of yeah. those things where they like ex- accept expect 
to be yeah, bribed. I think it was. Because otherwise was. they bring out the old rusty sword. Yeah. Yeah. yeah very unfortunate. Uh, execution of commoners was done by hanging, uh, which at the time did not break the neck of the victim. So modern, modern hanging techniques. Uh, mm. you fall from a great height and it literally kills you instantly mm. um, whereas at the time it was literally you, you wouldn't get, you would suffocate rather than have your neck broken yeah. so in October 1789 he proposed the following uh, all punishments for the same class of crime shall be the, ne- the same regardless of the criminal therefore you know, there will be no privilege for nobility bet they didn't like that one <laughs> Well, <laughs> vive la revolution, as they say. <laughs> when the death sentence is applied, it will be by decapitation carried out by machine. Uh-huh. And the family of the guilty party will not suffer legal di- discrimination. It will be illegal for anyone to approach the ca- guilty family party, gu- guilty party's family. Mm-hmm. It will be illegal for anyone to approach the guilty party's family about their punishment. Mm. The property of the convicted shall not be confiscated. Right. And the bodies of those executed shall be returned to the family if so requested. Do you want your loved one in two pieces? Well, I mean, to which yes, I guess would, the answer is usually and, yes. Cause... Yeah. yeah, yeah, you'd want to bury them. You'd want to do whatever sort of rituals you have to, to a dead family member, I guess. Yeah. By March 1792, these proposals were passed into law. And as it was his proposal... Uh, the name of the machine that was used was tied to his name. Exactly yes. what he wanted. <laughs> well, well, Gillotin died in 1814, but can you tell me how he died? Hmm. It's not the obvious, the obvious suggestion, is it? Mm. He didn't die by his own, <laughs> his own machine. God damn it! <laughs> Incorrect. This is in fact a myth. He died oh, okay. age 75 of natural causes, <laughs> surrounded by his family. It's apocryphal that he died to the guillotine. I got the, the was it the QI buzzer there? <laughs> Me on you. QI klaxon. Well, you know, if you, if you watch back, you will hear the QI klaxon. Excellent. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. So I know you're all thinking, what exactly is a guillotine? It's like a massive cigar cutter. But like mm-hmm. bigger, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they a fell out of fashion. So right? now people just use them for cutting cigars. But, but they used to use them for cutting bigger cigars. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. I, that, as I was, that, that, the More ones that they used cigars. to cut, cu- cu- cut cigars are actually still called guillotines. Mm-hmm. Oh, and so when it? I was like googling this to get like images and stuff, I kept seeing the ones that are designed for cigars, huh. and they they are finger sized. Yeah. They are so Size uncomfortable to look at. Yeah. <laughs> um. Well, essentially, much like an old-style axe execution, the condemned would lay on their front with their head resting on the end. Uh, this would then be lined up with a huge, heavy blade a few metres above, and uh, that would be held up by rope. Uh, when the time for the execution would come, they would cut the rope, and uh, gravity would do its thing, and the blade would fall onto the neck and instantly decapitate. Nice little basket to catch... Yeah, that's a little rolling. Yes, head. yes. It's difficult to say whether this instantly did kill. There are reports of uh, people mm. uh, still being conscious anywhere up to thirty seconds after the decapitation. Mm. What? But also, yeah, there are also what? arguments that that wasn't someone actually being conscious. It was more a sort of a reflex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, everything firing. Uh, it's believed that within six n- seconds of decapitation. The amount of oxygen in your blood in your head is so little that you can't actually sort of right. be conscious. Uh, but then there are sort of first-hand reports of someone being at an execution and calling out the name of the acu- of the, the person who was executed, and that person opening their eyes and staring at them up to like thirty seconds afterwards. What was mm. the name of um, do you, you know, about that chicken that was like its head was pulled off? And, but yep. it had enough of the brainstem attached yeah. that it was like walking around for a few months until yeah. it chopped well, that, off that's, some corn. That's unlikely to happen to a human because that's not how the brain works for a human. Mm. Uh, for chickens, they have different mm. types of brains to us. Yeah, most of the sort of conversations about like 
how long someone can like live after such things is just like yeah. your body goes through different phases of death, right? Like there's different part systems of your body yeah. that will take, you know, will take longer and shorter times mm. to kind of yeah. degrade and yeah. stop working. So yeah, like so so also you get massive like muscle spasms, like the body without the head still spasms, right. and you could still like. Uh, do the things that you could like when do you know when like a doctor hits your knee with a hammer right you could still so do that with a, with a reaction because the reflex is still there right. it's still the nerve right because that goes um, to your spine rather than to your brain like mm, that's controlled by your yeah, spine. yeah 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 exactly exactly so i've got another question for you uh, what do you think the royal connection with the guillotine is royals getting their heads cut off <laughs> That was my choice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, it was the it was the aristocrats, wasn't it? That were getting so. Whilst it is true that head. the king was executed by guillotine, so I'm a bit naughty there, um, and I will get on to that. The answer I'm looking for is uh, actually that it was King Louis the Sixteenth who suggested that the blade be at an angle. Ah, mm. easier. E- easing in the entry better for slicing. Hmm. Well, supposedly this was so that they would better cut the neck regardless of the person. Um, the idea was that if it was a flat blade, mm-hmm. it might not actually cut very well. Right. I mean, I, I would not be willing to test it out myself. No. <laughs> but it's like, um, yeah, if it's an angled blade, then it just has a... Yeah. It's like when you do a rocking motion with your knife. You've got you've got more pressure at one point, right, when it's uh, yeah, angled yeah, yeah. because you've got one right. insertion point that then gets like slid along. So, mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. Uh, shortly after its adoption as the go-to French execution method, the French Revolution happened. The French Revolution lasted from about 1790 to about 1799, uh, but the famed Reign of Terror happened between June 1793 and July 1794. Uh, you may remember that the guillotine was uh, officially decided to be the French execution method in, in 1793, literally a couple of months before the Reign right. of Terror wow. happened. Wow. Yeah. That's very nice. interesting. I wonder if there's this kind of, um, like, there's this conversation about public executions mm-hmm. and trying to change the method because... Yeah presumably like there was a lot of uh class tension and there was probably a lot of public executions going on in that period of time and so then you have this method that's more humane but it's also kind of just like industrializing the process of execution right and then it gets used against the people who've been wielding and terrorizing the you know lower classes (laughs) So during the the Reign of Terror, which, by the way, it wasn't called the Reign of Terror at the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was called the, the Reign of Terror post the Reign of Terror. Uh, by, the by the people no woman who, who, were it was, who were being terrorized. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, to, to the commoners, it was not described as the Reign of Terror. Uh, during this time, uh, 17,000 people were guillotined. Wow. Jesus. Primarily by one single guillotine, which was in Paris. Uh, which was set up in in the Place de la Révolution, which is now known as the Place de la Concorde in Paris. Seems like a bit of a bottleneck. They could have got through more than 17,000 if it was, they had more well, of them. We'll have to try and beat the French record, eh? <laughs> no, it did, it did occasionally move around, but it was primarily in that Place de la Révolution. Uh, the people it killed varied, ranging from King Louis XVI and his queen Marie Antoinette, to other aristocrats. So he was like, um, he was like, no, the blade should be at an angle. <laughs> and yeah, they were like, yeah, yeah. oh yeah, why don't you come test it out, actually? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just try it, just put your head down there. <laughs> yeah. But it also um, was used on revolutionary leaders who had fallen out of the current faction's favour. Right, yeah, so, yeah. Uh, yeah. Once, yeah. Once they it get is... rolling, then more yeah, heads yeah, yeah. get rolling. <laughs> It, it is a messy period of history, and I don't want to go too much into detail because I think it would make a good episode one day. Mm. Ideas, anyone? Mm? Mm. Uh, let's just say that the guillotine was used loads. It's yeah, hung, hungry work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, 
what about after the revolution? That's what I hear you ask. What about after the revolution? There is no after. Viva la revolution! <laughs> the revolution begins today! <laughs> uh, well, the guillotine continued to be used as the only execution method in France, uh, as well as an execution method in a number of different European countries. They're not in the UK, interestingly enough. France continued to use the guillotine all the way up to 1977. Oh. When Hamida Janbu- Jandubi... Hamida Jandubi was executed for the kidnap, torture, and murder of 22-year-old Elizabeth Bouquet. He was the last person in Europe to be executed by guillotine. What year did you say that was? 1977. Wow. That's unreal. Yeah. They didn't want to go for something a bit less bloody by that time. Well, it was just the official execution method of France, and it had been for 200 years. It It wasn't long after that execution that they got rid of the death penalty right. France doesn't have the death penalty anymore I guess I don't really know what method I would prefer for them to use yeah because yeah. <laughs> like the guillotine's not a favourite execution method in the world anymore um, uh, the the few countries that have the death penalty tend to use the electric chair lethal injection or hanging the electric chair seems awful yeah, yeah. the electric chair is way worse than it's than it, than is made out to be in, in yeah culture. i would if takes... i had the choice between electric chair and decapitation i would take decapitation like, yeah right by, mm. by guillotine yeah yeah yes yeah yeah like it takes a, a solid minute to kill by electric Jesus. chair yeah all the time you your, your skin is burning it's horrific yeah, like really horrific. really horrific so most countries don't use the guillotine however in 1996 Georgia State Representative Doug Teeper... Oh, of course. Tried, <laughs> ...tried to pass a bill which would replace the electric chair with the guillotine. Of course he did. Which fortunately did not pass. But you know what? Uh, Maybe he's the new... the guillotine of his generation. Just being like, it's a more humane approach. Well, I don't think so, because he hasn't been a, a state representative for about 20 years. And also... You wouldn't believe this. He was a he was a, a Democrat. <laughs> anyway, that is the end, and I would like to ask the comments a question, and that's where my notes end. <laughs> it looks like I didn't actually write a question to ask. Do you remember what the question was? So, um, what's your favourite colour? Is it is it? What's your is favourite it method of execution? <laughs> How do you like to kill people? No, um, I can. I would love to see some, like, nice things in the comments about, like, new life. R- like, about about living rather than dying. <laughs> <laughs> Unless it's uh, about the Queen, then have at it. 